There are many different types of drone reads available on the market today. For many, many years, the simple cane drone read was the uh, drone read of choice. It's still the drone read of choice by many players. It is an experienced player that uses the cane drone read today. There are many different tricks and old time tricks that have to be used to make these drone reads work correctly. Whereas a lot of your synthetic drone reads are a very simple, quick and easy way to produce good quality drone sound. When choosing a drone read for your particular bagpipe, there is a optimum tuning position for your drones and that is out just on the hemp line where we have the sound chamber at its maximum tonal quality size. We don't want to be playing when our, our drones have the tuning pin jammed into the sound chamber. So what we want to do is we want to find drone reeds that fit our bagpipe and tune where we get the best tonal sound. Many of the drone reeds on the market today have options on them so that we can control where we are tuning on our, on our drone pins, our tuning pins. There are just a few parts on the drone read that need a few, a bit of explanation. You deal with a drone read has a tongue, a bridle, and the reed seat. This is a cane drone read, still very popular, creates wonderful harmonics, but it is a temperamental read and requires a little more knowledge of the instrument to achieve those sounds. The components on this reed will be the same through all the modern synthetic reeds, but just to point out, the, the tongue, bridle, reed seat are going to be similar throughout the reed world. There are many different types of synthetic drone reeds available on the market. We have what we consider to be kind of an economy range of drone reeds that achieve very nice sound at a very decent price. We have solid body or plastic nylon bodied drone reeds. Then we also have the composite body drone reeds or natural cased bodied made up of wood, paper, and cotton. These reeds tend to absorb moisture through the body as you play them. A very nice feature for someone who is dealing with moisture issues and it also creates a very natural playing uh, performance as the cane reeds would. There are many different types of tongue material used in synthetic reeds from a basic cane or wood Carbon fiber, these are also carbon fiber, different style of carbon fiber. Plain plastic, and we also have fiberglass. Something that should be noted at this point is you should really try to avoid touching any of the tongue material with your hands when you're adjusting the reeds, unless it is specifically noted by the individual manufacturer. They're just are not a lot of reeds that take any abuse or any manipulation of the tongue in the synthetic drone reed world. Adjusting or snapping a tongue like you do in the cane world could damage or um, permanently alter the sound of a synthetic drone reed. Also you're looking at different types of bridles from an o-ring style bridle to uh, elastic rubber band. The adjustments on a synthetic drone reed are very, very minor. There's an old saying that on a synthetic reed, if you see the bridle move, you've moved it too much. You really want to make very, very small adjustments when altering the strength of the reed by moving the bridle. It is very easy to adjust the pitch of an individual reed with a synthetic drone reed. By extending, 
the nose cone or a tuning screw, we can adjust the inner chamber to, to deepen the sound, flattening the reed, thus having the opposite effect when you're tuning your drone, which would cause you to sharpen your drone on the tuning pin. By pushing the tuning screw in or tuning pin in, we are sharpening the individual reed, which causes us to have to flatten our drone when we are tuning on the tuning pin. Many of the reeds we have have an actual screw that can be moved in and out to change the actual pitch of the reed. Another option for changing the pitch on, a, on any given reed is to change how far the reed is in the reed seat. If we insert the reed farther in, we have shortened the actual reed, causing us to flatten the reed, uh, flatten the drone when we go to tune it. By adding some hemp, we can also draw that reed out of the reed seat, causing us to have to sharpen the drone. By changing the pitch of the individual reed, either by changing the, the pin, the tuning pin, or changing the depth of the reed into the reed seat, this will give us the opportunity to have the drone tune at its optimum tuning position, which again is just where we're just going to see the hemp line show. When setting up your drone reeds to your particular strength of bagpipe, we can do this by changing the bridle, by moving the bridle either in or out, lengthening or shortening the, the tongue on the drone reed. Doing this in very small increments is, is the best approach to, if your bagpipe is taking too much air and is too strong, what we are looking at is a slight adjustment of the tongue just so you barely see the tongue move. And then we can te uh, test to see if the drone is going to shut off when we play it with our pipe channer inside the bagpipe. Try not to play synthetic reeds by mouth. Any moisture on the reed has a greater effect on the actual performance while you're making the adjustments. Put the, put the drone back into the drone reed seat and actually play it in the bagpipe to test for strength. If we find that the drone is shutting off when we bring our chanter in or after playing for a few minutes the drone is shutting off, what we want to do is the opposite effect where we want to draw out the bridle, lengthening the tongue, and we're opening up the reed. So we're actually going to make the reed a little harder to play as it draws more air. We want to set the reed so that it's right on the edge of the shutoff and not drawing too much air. This could take a few minutes of adjustment playing with your bagpipe to find that you have the drones in the right position and drawing the right amount of air for your bagpipe. Once you determine that, then you can come back in and adjust your tuning pins to create the optimum tuning position on your individual drone.